Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker dropped a new update and although we did not receive the nerfs we all have been waiting for, I still gotta say, I love the direction they are going with some of these balance changes. They are really dropping some huge buffs lately for everybody that likes to stay in character, that likes to play fiend builds and stuff like that. But before we talk about all these balance changes in detail and get you guys prepared for the upcoming format, let's just have a quick look at what's new in the shop. They finally dropped the new Double Moon Sword Fading Blossom for heal types that has really good DPS and instant guard breaks on every heavy variation. It basically has the same combos and charge attack as the other Double Moon Swords but with different heavy variations and combo enders. And the charge attack, while still having the same crappy animation, actually has a way longer hit stun than its defense type counterparts. And will also drop enemies to the ground properly now, so that's pretty cool. The weapon doesn't have any particularly long stuns in its combos, but there are still a few ways how you can combo into some very quick jutsus and ninja tools. I'm going to post some shorts on this for sure. Then they also dropped the Momoshiki outfit with no special stats and also brought back the bladed machine's defense weapon and the chakra claws which still is one of the best weapons in the game. Now when it comes to balance changes, the biggest thing for me personally is that Gaiden Mist now also buffs water style moves. Like the lightning cloak for attack types buffs lightning style moves while it's active. They increased its cooldown, but the buffs count for the whole team, so you can really just bring the whole Hidden Mist Anbu squad and go crazy with some water style team comps now. Which for me is way more game changing than any change that would have a big impact on the meta. Just because it's such a fun thing to do, it really just makes the game so much cooler, I don't know. The buff doesn't include any water prisons or anything. You can see all the moves that are affected by it right here. But yeah, you can build some really cool water style team comps with this now. Especially if you combo it with something like insect jamming technique. All of a sudden a shark bomb that otherwise barely does any damage will almost one shot players now and heal up your whole health bar basically. It's crazy. Look at this. I'm running the blue flash top for greatly increased damage. My teammates pop the hidden mist and the insects and now I can even stack more damage on top with things like raging god medicine, chico shodo or whatever and just one shot anybody with my water style moves. That's so sick. I want you guys to name this old combo in the comments by the way, with the hidden mist and the insects. You could also stack Shikigami Dance Storm on top of that and now your enemies don't have jutsus, can't sub, can't see shit and have lowered movement speed, defense and attack power while your team is faster and deals way more damage. That's actually one of the OG secret technique combos that have been around forever. They also reduced the cooldown of Thunderclap Arrow and changed the hit sign animation for enemies hit midair so it actually drops them to the floor now. Definitely a big buff. Water style Water Prison Rosary Bondage has a lower cooldown now and Rasengan Unison deals less damage now. That's it for the defense class, let's continue with attack. The 8 inner gates Gate of Closing now also buffs the damage of your Taijutsu moves. I'll put the complete list of the affected moves on screen for you. I already said it, but I really like these kind of changes. Something like the 8 inner gates of course should boost your taijutsu. It just makes sense and it's so cool that it does that now. Rasa Rampage executes faster now. Vanishing Rasengan now also receives the buff from lightning style chakra mode because in the end it is a lightning style Rasengan. They just kind of forgot about it back then I guess. They nerfed the tracking of the Minotaur secret technique for attack types so it's easier to dodge now and increase the damage of the second activation from the Karma Progression Ultimate, so that one will basically just one-shot everything now. For range types, they decrease the time it takes to activate Lightning Net, so it will be easier to punish incoming enemies with it now. And they also reduce the charge rate of C4 Karura again, which I don't think they needed to, honestly. They're just going after usage rates again here. Being the most used secret technique for range types doesn't automatically mean that it is broken and needs to get nerfed. I think Karura was totally fine. After all, you can easily get out of it even if your enemy does a charge attack before. It's just people online have bad awareness and anticipation or it gets used together with another ultimate. Which is also not broken at all because let's be honest, if you spend two secret techniques in one fight and don't get a team wipe off of it, you're doing something wrong. Particle style atomic dismantling jutsu pillar, or how I like to call it, a nightmare to pronounce for a German guy, now removes any kind of buffs from hit enemies, but they also bumped up the cooldown of it to compensate for that. Heavenly Foot of Pain in the ass has a smaller attacking range now, so that one is easier to dodge now as well. They also changed how ninja hounds work. They increase their speed by a good amount, but you will now drop the flag if you summon them. 
which is kind of irrelevant because although you will drop it on summon, you can just pick it up again right after and still carry it with the dog. You can also just learn to time the summoning so you pick up the flag right after you summon the dog, so that's no issue at all. Ninja Hounds are just faster now and because of that it's also easier to chain hits with them or follow up on them. Okay, now we talked about what they changed this update. Let's talk about what they didn't change but absolutely have to because otherwise they will just keep losing players. First of all, there is the Kuroma Claw that still didn't receive any nerfs, although it's the single most broken and pay to win bullshit to ever make its way into the game. Like, bro, just increase the combo counter value on its aerial heavy, it will solve most problems without really taking anything away from the weapon. Like, why is it possible to keep multiple people stunned for 3 hours because of its giant hitbox and a hit stun that will even leave people stunned mid-air for half an hour and the fact that you can loop that shit 6 times and still can get an extra hit in? Nah, just make it so you can only loop the aerial heavy like 3 times before the combo counter is full and then maybe even lower the damage of that heavy string a bit. You could also adjust the range of it, but the weapon also kinda needs the aerial heavy and the aerial stun to compensate for its charge attack, so... I don't know, maybe don't nerf it into the ground, but at least make it more in line with other weapons like the Violet Patterns for example. Look at that one, it can also stun enemies mid air or control multiple players with heavy attacks, but you can only chain 3 heavies and most of the unsubable damage comes from the second heavy, which will knock enemies away, so it's totally fine. If the Violet Petals heavy could be looped 6 times and would do decent damage as well and had the same bullshit 300km hitbox, it would be broken as well. You can't tell me you didn't know the weapon is gonna break the game before it's released. Nah, it was intentional, it was a cash grab, but guess what, it's not in the shop anymore, so nerf that thing already, thank you. The Rasengans on this thing also should not sublock. Those are light attacks, they are not supposed to sublock anybody. Another thing that is arguably even more overpowered on pitfall maps is the Hanzo Sickle. Like, watch that, I literally one hit kill a full life defense type with just one heavy attack. The Kuroma Claw spammer can at least be interrupted during his combo, but this one literally kills with one hit. Y'all damn well know shit like that shouldn't be in the game. Just give it the same kind of drop you just added to the Thunderclap arrow and everything is fine. There are also a lot of Jutsu and Ninja tools that are bugged currently. With this update, Needle Jizo and Sand Shuriken got added to the list. They're pretty much just unusable most of the time right now. And it just can't be that somebody buys the Gara DLC, wants to use his Sand Shuriken that he paid for and they're just not working. You just can't sell broken products like that. That's called scamming the shit out of little children. Like, stop it! Slow down a bit and do it right. Fix your game first and then add new things. As simple as that. Anyways guys, peace out and never forget, if it has a health bar, it has to die.